Rachid Hbachou, le premier expert de diamants en Afrique et dans le monde arabe. Hello everybody, I'm Rachid Hbachou, I'm a gemologist and a scientist. Uh, I will give you some courses about the gemstone. I will show you some very common gemstone in the market and uh, in the, uh, look at this. Uh, this stone is amber. Uh, this is uh, natural amber. It can be yellow, brownish to yellow. Yellow fancy is coming from America, and this amber is coming from uh, copal. Is the yellow one is copal, but this one is from uh, Balta. Uh, this stone is natural emerald. It uh, uh, about half cara. Uh, the first thing you should do to know gemstone, uh, to know the color, to know gemstone by the color. Uh, and later I will talk to you uh, to explain you some properties, physical and uh, optical uh, properties of gemstone to know it. Uh, I will not make you a gemologist by one course. This is just uh, an introduction. But I promise to you, by the way, and uh, if you chart in this channel, you will receive other courses and you will can distinguish between gemstones. This is uh, white uh, opal, natural opal, very beautiful. You can see uh, rainbow, rainbow, different colors, like in rainbow. You can see here this gemstone. This is smoky quartz. Here I have natural lemon quartz. This is a natural ruby <coughs> from Thailand. Uh, this stone is about two thousand dollar. It's from Thailand. Of course, it's heated. It's maybe one carat and some point. Uh, the same, not heated from Burma, can be five thousand dollar. You can see this gemstone very clear, very beautiful, very nice. This is a crystal, polished, and. Captain, this gemstone is amethyst, natural amethyst. Uh, amethyst is a variety of crystal, uh, but the amethyst of, 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 of the family of mineral quartz, uh, and it's known as the most expensive variety of quartz. Let's see also this gemstone. This natural gemstone. This is blue amethyst. This is a green amethyst. Very beautiful, nice piece. This is a peridot. Into this gemstone, we can see some little bit small inclusions. These inclusions are the pre proof that the stone is natural and not uh, made man. Uh, this gemstone also is called garnet. It's one of similar of ruby. Uh, similar to natural stones that are used in the market as a similar of ruby, adding to garnet is a spinner. You can see here this variety of quartz also. This is this gemstone is a variety of quartz. It's called citrine. This is 
Topaz. Bleu topaz. This is a black opal. Roll ball. Multi colored. Finally, you can see this stone colored moonstone. Very nice and very beautiful. So, firstly, the first step, I, you, sh you have to learn to distinguish between gems uh, by their color. And after that, in the same color, we can find many varieties. For example, a ruby, red uh, stone, it can be ruby, it can be uh, garlic, it can be spinach, it can be my main ruby, it can be plastic. So, to distinguish between these varieties, we use some instruments to, can, uh, to, 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 to measure the optical and physical uh, properties. These instruments are, you can see with us here, this instrument is called refractometer. We use it to uh, measure the refractive uh, uh, indices. So maybe you don't know this meaning of these words, these terms. I just give you now an idea, uh, and by the time I will explain you uh, the interest of uh, the, for what you, we use every instrument and what we measure with and the characteristic of the stone. This instrument we can know if the stone is changing the color by the angle we see the it. This filter ruby, we can use this filter to now do color filter. We have here filter shinsa to see the color filter of ruby. Here, this is to use this diamond selector, we use it to measure the temperature of the stone because in diamond it's like in some metals that it can be conductive and we can measure these properties with using this, uh, this instrument this is Kara uh, this, we use this instrument to now do white by the Kara for example we can change the parameter the unity for many unities to as we know as you know for stones we white measuring the white by kara this stone is two twenty uh eighty five sorry so this ruby the white by kara is one forty Five. This is the, and we also use this. Look, Esa. We use this. This uh, balance of color with this kit of specific gravity steam kit. I will explain you later how we use this. Let me now give you an idea about this unity. This unity, you can find it in the market between 200, 300, 400, it's depending to know to, to, to dollar. What we do with this uh, kit, uh, specific gravity, is because to, to know the specific gravity, look at this, To know the specific gravity, we have to know the white in the water and the white in the air. So, the white in the water, specific gravity is the white in the water. Uh, sorry, the white in the uh, 
What? The, 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 the white in the water divided by the white in the air, and we get specific gravity. By knowing, we have already read this book, or we can, you can find the specific gravity of many minerals or gemstone and we compare the value that we get with this value and then you can uh, make classification of the mineral this material is uh, testing hardness of gemstone I will see you uh, I will talk to you later about uh, mouse hardness every stone every mineral have its own hardness is starting from 1 to 10 uh, every mineral uh, in second line is more hard than the last one so we use this pen this 9 this is 6 5 6 7 8 9 for the 9 we use it for uh, if uh, you can find also another this uh, kit Testing of hardness starting from 1 to 10, but in general, in gemstone, we only need 4, 7, 8, 9 because uh, the sum, the, the most of them are uh, most than 10, uh, 7 uh, in mass hardness. This instrument is spectroscope. We know that every gemstone is absorbing a spectrum, and we I use this. Gemstone, for example, this is the ruby. Come, no, come to see. I just should. Mm -hmm. هذا So we know before uh, that every gemstone is absorbing one spectrum. And we use this instrument, for example, if the ruby is absorbing the red, then when we use the spectroscope, we don't see the, the, the red color, then we know that uh, that is the ruby. Show me a rainbow and we use the spectroscope, some color. So, this is a general course. But by the way, I will explain you properties of every gemstone and I will also explain to you how to use every uh, instrument to inspect and to detect that properties don't uh, forget to click share and subscribe see you soon thanks for watching Inscrivez-vous sur notre chaîne, envoyez une invitation pour rejoindre le premier réseau professionnel de vendeurs et acheteurs de diamants. Envoyez-nous une demande sur le WhatsApp.